If you've had an accident that wasn't your fault, contact Injury Lawyers for you. You'll be asking questions. Who'll get the kids from school? What about my job? Injury Lawyers for you will help you get the compensation you deserve. So, if you've had an accident that wasn't your fault, contact Injury Lawyers for you. Made with two fiery Zinger fillets. The Zinger Stacker, only a KFC. Different coughs require different formulas. For targeted relief from dry and tickly or chesty coughs, try Cavonia. The dry and tickly cough formula soothes the upper respiratory tract, while the chesty cough formula helps clear mucus from the lungs. For effective relief from different types of coughs, target symptoms at the source with Cavonia. Coming up at 10, Joe Pasquale will be telling us about bringing back Frank Spencer in the return of Some Mothers Do Have Them. We'll be meeting the diet expert who says you can lose weight eating junk food and chocolate. And John to Rhodes kick-starting the show with his delicious Aussie brunch. That's all coming up on This Morning. We are live in an hour's time. Getting the most out of your morning with Lorraine. Sponsored by Nestle Shredded Wheat. Hello there, good morning to you and coming up on the show this morning. I just want hair on my head again. I just want to see my, my, my head with hair. Well, she was diagnosed with breast cancer after watching our Change and Check campaign. Now, Mum of Four, Nicola, she wants her confidence back and she wants her hair back. We reveal her new look in 20 minutes' time also. The part where you pretend not to know what I'm talking about, let's just skip the denials, OK? I know you faked your pregnancy. Well, it's the new thriller you really won't want to miss. Spook star Richard Armitage tells us about that and the surprising talent that helped him on his way to Hollywood. Hi, Lorraine. Oh, we, we love you. You know I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Fantastic. We've got all the news from last night's National TV Awards, including my little mix is Jesse. Got one of the biggest cheers of the night. Fantastic. We're going to start with the NTA's red carpet right now. Joe Elvin, editor of You Magazine, is here. Uh, we just saw Jesse there getting an award. Oh, what a night for Jesse. Yeah. I think the whole nation kind of feels proud of Jesse. She's really, really been through a lot, as we all witnessed on that award winning documentary. Yeah. And she really pulled out all the stops. Look at that show-stopping tangerine. It's amazing. The split, the long train, a lovely orange Suzanne Neville dress. I think, you know, she had a right to own that night. You betcha. She really did. She looked <laughs> so super glamorous. I love that. I yeah. might wear that to the next Dundee United game. I, it's the right well, I, I, for one, can't wait. <laughs> Although, would you could you know, go with Holly Willoughby's complete oh, wow. princess look. I mean, this, big winner of the night again. This really was a fairy tale. Now, yeah. this was took 40 hours by the designer Peter wow. Langner to hang make with all that tulle. I think so this was is like made especially 45 meters of fabric which wow. my spies tell me Philip Schofield spent a lot of time just holding <laughs> so that nobody would trip so over it. On it. I don't know who helped her in the loo <laughs> but you know that was a, that's maybe Feels another story. So beautiful and of course they won again. Yeah, yeah apparently yeah <laughs> good for them. Good no, for them. Absolutely. It's and about the time is, they had a shot. And it's the it's the it's the viewers that vote so absolutely. yeah absolutely look at Rufus Bale. No, no, so that's absolutely. proper fairy tale stuff. Gorgeous. And then speaking of more vavavoom though we have Aaron Suzanne Anna Reed oh. looking absolutely you know this Hello, is my Miss favorite. Jessica Rabbit. This is my favorite. I mean, of the incredible. Night. Isabel Christensen, red, wow. embellished, plunging neckline, and those beautiful red lips just to show it off. She's still got it, Al Susanna. She certainly has. I we think she looks better it. than ever. And red was quite, uh, there was quite a lot of women. Ladies in red. Yeah, and, and, I, and, oh, and indeed, Yay. these women really showing a united front there. Kelly Bryan did not get the memo, but of course she was also there as part of the Hollyoaks gang. Right. So, but I think that all the loose women look absolutely traffic stopping in that beautiful bright red. But you know, another huge trend on the night, which I loved, was black. You yeah. don't really see a lot of black on the red carpet anymore. Everyone's no. sort of like trying to be. But look at that. I, I mean, Kate Garraway was probably one of my absolute this favorites. This is gorgeous. So sleek. She is beautiful. not letting go of that jungle. Mojo anytime <laughs> soon, and, and I, I love, love her here. I love her here. Really street. sleek, that new bob. I think probably my favorite was Tess, actually. Yeah. You know me, I love a husband hating jumpsuit. <laughs> and uh, her Rachel Zoe one was just absolutely sleek, understated glamour. Beautiful. Absolutely loved it. And I also loved Laura Whitmore. 
I don't know how she does it commuting from South Africa at the moment, but... Is that what she... Of yeah, course! It's amazing. Of course. That's um, great. Love it. Now, would you or I wear more Higgins's dress? I personally would not, but then I do not have a body like that. If I was under 30... No. Well, even when I was under 30, my bottom was not that pert. No. But um, I, I salute that. It's no, right. proper Oscars... Bob Mackie inspired glamour that. Oh, and I can see Cher wearing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think that that is who the homage is to. I think it's absolutely stunning. I'd be you scared. Know, go for it, Maura. Go I'd for be it. Terrified. Speaking of old school glamour, we had Caitlyn Jenner looking absolutely now, stunning. See, this dress is brilliant because I think any age could wear this, but it's so. It's just so effortless, isn't it? You it's, pop that um, on, there you are. It's just really understated in that sort of, like, Rita Hayworthy mm. way. I really, really love that. Um, she said, obviously, the Keeping Up with the Kardashian style was a huge hit on The Jungle this year. Yeah. So that was her first visit to the NTAs, and uh, she, she rocked it. She, she brought it. Absolutely. But I think also one of my favourites was Oti, Oti Mabusi. This dress, I'm going to get this wrong, Lorraine. Krasinska Couture. I've not heard of this brand before, I must admit, but it's wow. proper, strictly come dancing, show-stopping territory. That beautiful, plunging neckline yeah. in that lovely jade green, one of my favourite colours. Do you know that um, Kate Middleton had a, a green dress, like, not, not quite as plungy? I don't think it was, <laughs> was quite say, like that, and was maybe it? maybe it wasn't showing as much <laughs> leg. But yeah. that colour, I think, is really, really strong. It's just beautiful. You know, you were saying black is great and black is always going to get you, you know, of course. But a good alternative, maybe green? Well, I think that that's... What, yeah, I was um, I was amazed that there was a lot of colour this year. So yes. that's why, to me, the black kind of stood out. But there was Oti's was definitely one of sure. my favourites. And no real howlers. I think people... You know, in days gone by, people would maybe make a few mistakes or, or they would try something and it might not work. But these days, I think everybody's savvy. And I also think everyone's calmed down a bit about that see it from space Instagram moment and everyone just right. wants to look pretty. Yes, Yeah. exactly. And I think yeah. that's very wise. <laughs> Very, very wise. Happy anniversary, by the way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> Happy anniversary. You're going to wear something that your husband likes today. Um, on Friday when we have a date night. Yes, right. it's our 20th anniversary today. Oh, so, But I haven't seen him today yet because I'm here. Exactly. <laughs> we'll go and give him a thank cuddle you. when you get back home. It's lovely. Thank you, Joe. That was great. Really good. Really good. And congratulations to all the winners and lots more from the NTAs still to come. Um, as well as that, she has starred in Pull Dark and the thick of it, of course. Gosh, that was good. Um, what's the one TV show Rebecca Front would like to be in? Well, she's here next. We'll ask her. And he always goes that extra mile, doesn't he? We'll find out the most extreme thing that Spook star Richard Armitage has done to get himself into character. Lorraine, sponsored by Nestle Shredded Wheat. I'm looking for sun, sand and something that don't break the bank. We have a brilliant value beach holiday. That'll be perfect. Where's good to go with children? Well, we've got some amazing holidays with great kids clubs. The last minute deal will be awesome right now. No problem. You can trust us to get you on your way. Talk to the Teletext experts. View our sale online and call today. We've got a great deal to talk about. Teletext holidays at All Protected. One in two people will be diagnosed with cancer at some time in their lives. There's so much now, it's so common, but still such a shock when it's someone close to you or yourself. The impact on everybody is hard. All of a sudden your life becomes about appointments and this test and that test, but then you start to just thank God that those tests are there. Research is making chemotherapy kinder, radiotherapy is less destructive, and survival rates are higher than ever. The doctor said they're taking bloods because they're vampires. That's what they said. There's so many people that do come through it, and it's all because of research, making things better and easier and safer. For just two pounds a month, you can make a real difference. These donations are absolutely crucial for all of the research to help in families like us. Thank you for your donations. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Nestle Shredded Wheat. Well, what is going on there? It's that time of year, isn't it? Lots of people are trying to get fit. Do you think you could do that? I don't think I could. I'd be in the hospital. It's extreme spinning and it's got people going crazy online. Nah, I don't. Nah, nah, nah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm in admiration of that, but I don't think I could. Now, my next guest plays Chief Superintendent Jean Innocent in Lewis, of course. She won a BAFTA for her role in The Thick of It. More recently, we saw her as Horrible Lady Whitworth in Poldark. Now, though, Rebecca Front is teaming up with Hugh Laurie in the sci-fi comedy Avenue 5. This is Kelly. OK, so... Tell me what's going on here, and be straight with me, because I have had enough bull ass to fill a bathtub. Just between you and me, we may just be looking at an extra. Six days? No. Oh, six weeks. Months. Six months. Ugh. What? Well, what's that? What is that? You should have just said the word six months. You dangled six days at me, and I, I got excited, and did then you not snatched dangle. away. I corrected you instantly. You I... corrected me very slowly, if I may say so. Well, Rebecca Front joins me now. Terrific American accent. Oh, phew. Thank no, you very really much. No, really good. <laughs> I, I, but that must be quite hard to sort of keep... Did you just surround yourself with Americans? Well, <laughs> most of the cast are American, yes. in fact. So actually, that was great. And it did mean that every now and then I would get a rewrite at short notice and I'd sort of go up to Susie Nakamura or somebody and just talk. Go, How do I say this quickly? <laughs> so, talk yeah, me, it was really good. It's such a brilliant idea for a comedy. Quite a dark comedy, it has to be it's said. Very, well, it's Armando Iannucci. You know, his comedy is always dark. Indeed. But, yes, it is. It's such... It's a kind of weirdly simple idea, actually, yeah. because all sitcoms or all great comedies are essentially quite claustrophobic. So That's the idea true. of trapping people in on a space cruise is is a really sort of <laughs> clever idea, I think. You know, that... It is. I mean, we had an astronaut on yesterday, Steve Smith, this astronaut, oh, wow. who was talking about tourism in space and it's going to happen. And here we see this. And it's all going fine. You know, there they are going for a wee cruise around Jupiter, yeah. all happy days. And then, of course, something goes terribly wrong and it's going to take them an awful long time to get home. Absolutely. And that's when... So, I mean, there's so many different directions it can go in. I think that's... that's. I mean, I, I personally am the sort of person who would never go on a normal cruise right. in a million years. Because to be stuck the, with people. The whole thought of, yeah. yeah, being stuck with people, you can't... Unless you're a very good swimmer, you can't get out. Indeed. And, of course, in space, you really can't get out. <laughs> so I find the whole idea of it sort of nightmarish mm. anyway, even if everything was going smoothly. But sure. the minute something goes slightly wrong, you suddenly realise that these people are trapped and very quickly they're going to start hating each other. But she's a really interesting character you play because she... I Think is going to come really to the forefront. She's a leader. She's annoying, very but a, much. But a real, a real leader. A annoying. Bit, well, a wee annoying. tiny. Just a wee I wee think wee. she's a no, no, She's <laughs> really <laughs> annoying. <laughs> very annoying. Yes. Um, I, but yeah. she's, yeah, she's but somebody she, who. I mean, I, I feel like Karen really should have been running a, a multinational corporation you know what, um, rather than you know getting else. married and having three kids, which is essentially the same set of skills. Let's yes. be honest. So she's been raising three kids. You know, she's now gone off on this space cruise. And when things start to go wrong, Karen is one of the few people who thinks, OK, yep. I can now come into my own. Right. I know how to handle this and nobody else does. Mm. So she's supremely self-confident sure. and kind of terrifying. But then, of course, her even her confidence starts to get chipped as things yeah. unfold. Because it'll be interesting, they won't have enough supplies. What's going to happen? You know, people all get really annoyed with one another. One of the things that you, you liked about the character, though, was the wardrobe, oh, the yes. cruise wear. Absolutely. I mean, look yes. at this, for goodness sake. Unbelievable. Not, I don't think that's the kind of thing you would wear of a morning. <laughs> <laughs> or not mean. usually. I'm dressed down today. <laughs> Susie Harmon, who's our costume designer and, and her wardrobe team, absolutely stepped up to the yeah. plate. And we, we may perhaps have been sending each other pictures of uh, Chris Jenner, possibly. possibly. So there was a little bit of sort of, you know, yeah. reference going on but that was actually handmade for me and they just she she had this vision she knew what she wanted and right. so I and I went in and there it was just hanging there looking unbelievable yeah you've got to get that to for you know for future just for, to for wear. red carpet yeah, yeah, yeah for the NTAs that's what I'm supposed to be wearing you've on the worked with Armando before on the thick yeah. of it as well and um, he has said that he couldn't do that show now yeah, because everything is beyond we'll parody yeah he couldn't, I think, he couldn't really do it now it's, it's a difficult so time for comedians because you think the there's so much material but yeah. actually when something's not yeah. funny it's it's funny anyway it's difficult to take the mickey out of it yeah I mean we were we were on the thick of it we were looking at you know sort of the, the venal side of politics yeah. and and then when you see the way things have unfolded you just kind of think I don't know where we'd go to satirize no. this because you have to go further and how much further could you possibly go I don't know that's the thing you, you, it's impossible but from that we've seen you in things like Paul Dark of course yeah where you were pretty horrible I was a little bit violent Paul yes, Dark, you yes. you were didn't but you, crack a smile but you enjoy a costume drama I do yeah. I just I always want to just play characters who are as far as possible from me it's much more interesting I mean Nicola Murray is probably the closest to me but now you're I've not gone, like now Nicola Murray no, I, I hope I'm a bit nice <laughs> and, um, but yeah I do, so the costume drama thing yeah. is wonderful because you just completely transform form into somebody else without well, even course. trying. It's really lovely. So what about something? Because I'm going to do another Downton movie. 
Yes, I they heard are. this. And yeah. I mean, I think every single actor in the United Kingdom has probably been in Downton. And you but haven't. not me. You should. No, I think maybe it was because I was poldarking it. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I know. There's a conflict there. <laughs> I, I feel like I could, you know, I could don another costume. So, I what, think. where would you like to be, upstairs or downstairs? So you, you get nicer frocks upstairs. Let's be honest. You do. Um, but actually, I haven't really played many downstairs no. characters, and I feel, you know, that that's. Yeah, that I mean, I'm, I'm not particularly posh, so I think I could I could no, go with either. definitely. Well, they're, they're, they're doing it right now, so who can say? <gasps> who can say? Now, look, with this with this show, it wasn't filmed in outer space, obviously. It was round the corner. <laughs> it was. It was How brilliant. Is that? My first American TV thing, and it was shot it was in North London. I mean, I mean it was brilliant. kind of brilliant, yeah, I have that's to say. A, that that's really amazing when you've, got, when you've got that. That, that works really well. Mm. Did, you, did you have to keep it secret from people? Were there things, and secret from one another almost? You know? Well, actually, the scripts, the developments in the scripts were kept secret even from us. So there's, right. there's a, a big reveal at the end, which obviously I won't tell you, mm. in, in the final episode, which even we, the cast, didn't find out until we got the final scripts right. about three days before shooting. Um, so, yeah, they, they like to play their cards close mm. to their chest, which is quite exciting when you're doing it. It's a bit unnerving, but it yeah, is actually really no. exciting. But that makes, that makes perfect sense. And Hugh Laurie, what a great guy. And oh, there's, he's and so lovely. If you watch the first episode, you've got to. I mean, you can, you can, you can download it at the moment anyway. It's, it's on, the, on the player. And he starts with one thing. You think he's like this amazing captain and he's in control mm. and everything's all right, oh, and he's so tooth. isn't. Yeah, and that tooth. is really funny. It is. And, he, and the way he reveals the sort of the, these little cracks in his uh -huh. carapace are very, very clever. It's incredibly difficult to do what he does, um, but he just does it brilliantly. But he's kind of... He can do everything, can't mm. he, Hugh? You know, he plays brilliant piano, he sings, he's a phenomenally nice, decent man. He's just kind of the complete package. He reminds me of Michael Palin. Yes, you know, that kind of national person. treasure kind of yeah, wonderful. but properly, yeah. you know, like yeah. really deserves it because they bandy that term around so much. But he's kind of like that. You feel better for being in yeah. some, with some working with someone like Absolutely that. Absolutely true. No, he's there. everybody loved him. He's he's a really it's good a guy. Do you think there's going to be more of this? Because you said there's going to be. We don't know. I really hope there will because I think they they've got so many fantastic ideas. So mm. I sincerely hope so. And also because it's the nicest cast. On the, I was going to say on the planet, but of course, off the planet. <laughs> off the it's planet. the nicest cast uh -huh. off the planet. Just a wonderful group of people. So I'm really Brilliant. hoping we'll go again. Brilliant. I hope so. I oh, really enjoyed you. it. Thank you so much, Rebecca. And Lovely to Avenue see you. 5 is on Sky One tonight at 10 o'clock. But obviously, in these wonderful times, you can watch it whenever you like, which is great. Right, after the break, it's the new thriller. We're all going to be binge watching. Star of The Stranger, Richard Armitage, is right here at half past. Also, I got so fed up with thinking about my hair because. I was going to lose it no matter what it was going. So I did the decision to um, shave it. Well, diagnosed with breast cancer after watching our Change and Check campaign, we're helping Nicola to get her confidence back. And they were big winners last night, but has Ruth Jones got bad news for Gavin and Stacey fans. Sponsored by Nestle Shredded Wheat. You can't always rely on the British weather to stay sunny, but you can rely on the sunshine in Happy Eggs. Happy Eggs, beaming with vitamin D. We're giving away hundreds of thousands of free kids' places. Book now and spread the cost with zero pounds deposit when you pay with direct debit. From splash parks to swimming lessons, at TUI, we cross the T's, dot the I's, and put you in the middle. At all protected. The family that lives here don't know it yet, but they've just won a thousand pounds. It's the top weekly prize in Children with Cancer UK's weekly winners lottery. The people here are also winners. They've won one of our 99 extra weekly cash prizes. And this family are about to find out that they've won the massive £25,000 super draw. It happens twice a year. And everyone playing at the time is automatically entered for free. 
But this is the luckiest family of all, because Bella Rose is coming home today. Thanks to the research funded by Children with Cancer UK and all the people that play the lottery. It's only a pound a week to play, and it will help more children like Bella Rose get better and come home to their families. So start playing today. Visit weeklywinners.org. Body pain can make it hard to focus on anything else. But Neurofen Long Lasting with anti-inflammatory properties acts at the source of pain for up to 12 hours sustained relief. To keep your day on track. And for joint and muscular pain, Neurofen's plaster continuously targets pain and inflammation at the source for 24 hours. Bye, Mum. Thanks for breakfast, Mum. Have a great day, darling. With its delicious taste, Nutella is sure to bring a smile to breakfast time. Nutella. Spread happiness. And if you love it in a jar, why not try it in a bar? Nutella, be ready. Canarial pods beat the mud. Just one pod? Enjoy the brilliant clean of Aerial 3-in-1 pods. Do you pod? Always pod safely. And keep away from children. Lorraine, sponsored by Nestle Shredded Wheat. And now, from Norwich. It's the quiz of the week. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, and welcome to the sale of the century, which, alas, is the last in our present series. What do we mean when we say that we're sending someone to Coventry? <coughs> Kerry? Not speaking to them. Correct. Where would you find a potting Welcome show? back. Nicholas Parsons, of course, the sale of the century, and in so many quiz shows that he did. Tributes continue this morning after his death yesterday. The Just a Minute host was 96, but you never thought of him as being that old. He was just eternally young. Lots of celebrities been tweeting. Stephen Fry calls him an institution with unrivaled professionalism. Graham Norton said he was the kindest and most generous person that he's ever worked with. Not a bad word to be said about that man. Still to come, we're going to be helping Nicola feel more like her old self after she lost her hair and she lost her confidence following chemo. First though, Andy is here with the competition and he is here, right here. I am right here in the kitchen. I know it looks like I've got my own cookery show here on ITV. Let's be honest, it's being developed. Uh, Lorraine, the NTAs, of course, yesterday, you didn't win. The other show I work on part-time, Good Morning Britain, that didn't win. But Lorraine, in my heart, you are always a winner. Thank you. I would like to present you with this colander. Well, it's the only one uh, I'll ever get. So I just think, happy. congratulations, you've done such a good job always. Thank you very All much. All those years in television, well done. Thank you, I'd like to thank everybody that knows me. I don't know where to put this. I'll it's take it back and put it in the kitchen, because let's be honest, it's on hire from a hire firm. Um, right, so, <laughs> here's your chance to win an amazing prize. All the details are right here. We're not going to use the VT, because I haven't got much time left. So, you could win £80,000 in tax-free cash. You could win your mortgage paid for you for up to two years. We'll pay your mortgage or rent, by the way, for two years. There's all... Also, £80,000 cash. It will stay in your bank account, hopefully, longer than that caption stayed on the screen. £80,000 in cold hard cash, your mortgage and bills paid for two years. And if you're lucky, I might get you a colander. Just saying. Uh, here's your chance to win. Here are all the details, but remember, the lines close on Friday. I'd like to thank Ralph, the director, for another chance to win. Text win to 6557. Text costs £2, plus one standard network rate message. Go to the website. Entries cost two pounds. You can call 09068 78557. Calls cost two pounds plus your network access charge, or post your name and phone number to BK52 PO Box 7558 Derby DE10 NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2 p.m. on Friday, the 31st of January. Good luck.
Good luck to you. Now, last year we launched our Change and Check campaign. I'm sure you remember. It was inspired by Helen, one of our team who was diagnosed with breast cancer. The campaign saw stickers put up in changing rooms all over the country, reminding all of us to check our boobs. So far, we know of at least 18 viewers who checked themselves and found that they had cancer and they're now receiving treatment, including mum of four, Nicola McKenzie. My name's Nicola, I'm 45 years old. I have four wonderful boys and an amazing fiancé, Tom, and we are getting married in October this year. I found my lump uh, on the 1st of October. It was really difficult um, to, to hear those words that you've got cancer. First thing I thought of is, am I going to die? Um, and then when I knew that I would have to have the chemotherapy, I did then, one of the first things I thought was, I'm going to lose my hair. My hair was really important to me um, and it finished the look. If I was going out on a night out, makeup and you do your hair. So, you know, I, I loved my hair. I know exactly what Nicola's going through right now and the look on her face when her hair was coming out just brought back so many memories for me because hair, it's not just the aesthetic Thing. It's how it makes you feel and it's part of who you are and it's part of you being a woman and when that starts to go, it's, uh, it's just beyond words to be honest. I got so fed up with thinking about my hair because I, I was going to lose it no matter what it was going. So I did the decision to um, shave it. I made it a bit of a family affair really. So uh, Charlie, my eldest, filmed it. Chloe, Charlie's girlfriend, cut my hair. Tom um, shaved it. And then um, Samuel, uh, my little one, he was saying to me, oh my goodness, mommy, you've got to look in the mirror. <laughs> I was oh. like, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> So I can see you've got a headscarf on. Have you thought about getting a wig? I just want hair on my head again. I just want to see my 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 head with hair. Hi, Nicola. Hello. Nice to Hi. meet you. Angie. As you can see, there's a whole range of different wigs, colours and styles. You'll know when it's the right wig uh, because it will look like you have always looked. Ooh, exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very sort of... Yeah, I like the fringe. Yeah, what about nice. the length, though? Mm. Are you going to go same colour or are you going to go blonde? No, I'm going to go... No, not blonde. Although Tom would like me to go blonde. But... <laughs> right, Nicola. We've, yeah. uh, you've had a look outside. Yeah. Yep. Let's have a bit of fun at this point, <laughs> okay. OK? No fringe. Not for me. Too dark. No, too short. Thank you, I love it so yeah. much. Feel comfortable? It's really comfortable, I love it. Thank you! Oh. Well, Nicola's going to be revealing her new look very shortly. Right now, the celebrity hairdresser Trevor Sorby is here. This is amazing what you do. I know you've been doing this for about 15 years now. That's right, yeah. And it's, it's incredible because so many people who have cancer, they say when their hair goes, mm. that's when it really hits them. Mm. And psychologically, it can be like, it's just like a kick to the stomach, you know? It's I've hard. met four ladies in the time that I've been doing this that have refused treatment rather than they lose their hair. Wow. Yeah. And, I mean, the medical profession do what, all they can yeah. and they're fantastic. But there's this one bit that's missing after chemotherapy. You lose your hair. Yeah. And uh, that's in many cases, more devastating than being told you've got cancer. I know a lot of people say that. It's people, we're not saying it, it's people who've gone through it are yeah. saying it. And the NHS, the, the wigs that the NHS provide are not good. Well, They're not, because they no. don't have the money to do Well, to it's do not them. what they do, you know. They, yeah, they get the best deal that they can yeah. under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. But I take all my clients to a place in uh, Westbourne Grove called Trenco, and they're, in my opinion, the best wigs. Mm. And um, they they look real, you know. And the technology is fantastic these days. And it's because and because you've set up this charity. Yes. It means that these the, the, the best quality people have access to that. That's they can right. do it. You know, yeah. if they can't pay for it, they can do it. Well, the, the thing is, when a woman goes in to get buy a wig, she doesn't really know what to ask for. No. Do you know what I mean? No. They, they have no knowledge unless they've been to a fancy dress party sure. or something once in their life. Yeah. But uh, I take these my clients to the actual shop and help them through that mm. process of. Choosing 
choosing the right wig and, and then I then, customise it. Exactly. That's yeah. where your skill comes in yeah. because you can actually make it theirs. Exactly. Because it's not one size fits all. It can never be because no. we're, we're all different. And, and the thing is, though, the satisfaction you must get from seeing somebody coming in vulnerable, upset, confidence at an all-time low, understandably, yeah. to then you... Will you change their life? You do. Yeah, I certainly help. Yeah. You know, that's all I can <laughs> do. But um, you see, the thing is, um, I train other hairdressers to do what I do. I right. work with L'Oreal a lot, and they give me their premises free of charge. And every month, 15 hairdressers come to me, and I, I train them on how to cut wigs right. and how to communicate with people that are in a very sharp place. I've actually got in my house in Hampshire, I've got a room that I've set aside and I've basically made it into like a, a mini salon. Right. And uh, I do it at weekends when I go down Fantastic. there. And I don't charge a penny for what I do. No, I know. I know this is no, all... It's not about and money. It, it started, I guess, because, you, you know, your sister-in-law had cancer and you yeah. saw what she went through. And then from that, you, you've seen... Everything. So you're, all your energies now, it's, it's yeah. to this. This is all I do. I don't cut people's hair anymore. No. But I cut their wigs. Oh, I love it. But, I absolutely love it. Well, look, yeah. Nicola, I'm desperate to see what she looks like. <laughs> Shall we have a wee look at Nicola with her new hair? Here she is! Oh, wow! Wow, wow, wow! It's lovely! Come and sit down, you look amazing! Let me see! Oh, wow, that is so good! I know! Have a wee seat! I love it! What do you think? Love it, love it, love it! Yeah? Yes, I'm so happy with it. Do you it. feel like you? Yes! <laughs> I've got hair! <laughs> well, I have to say, though, you look pretty good without hair. There's uh, not a lot of people can carry that off, <laughs> but you, you really did. Does this... Do you look in the mirror now and think to yourself, that's... I look like me now? Yes. Yes. Definitely. And that's the yeah, most important it, thing. Yeah. It was difficult losing my hair, but, um, yeah, it just feels so nice just to be able to have some hair. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it is about confidence, yeah. isn't it? Uh, definitely. Mm. Definitely. Um, going out with my bald head is um, quite difficult. I'm not quite brave enough to to um, go out. Right. Around the house, um, I will. Sure. But yeah. yeah, so it's nice to have a wig so I can go out. No, of course, yeah. and the kids all like it as well because yes. mum, mum looks like mum. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you yes. understand, of course, this, yeah. this happens. Yeah. You know, it's, it's sadly, as a consequence of the treatment. But how are you? Because you look yes. well, <laughs> but how, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm okay. So um, it's, been, it's been tough, mm. definitely been tough. Um, I'm on my second, uh, well, my third session of chemo okay. tomorrow. Right. Um, the first one I thought I got away with, I felt yeah. fine. Oh. Then the second one hit me hard. Um, uh, I was really tired, felt sick. Um, so tomorrow's one. Yeah, it's, a bit worried. Yeah. It's that tough road, love. Yeah. It's that tough, tough road. I mean, we yeah. saw it with our Helen. But you you yes. saw the sticker, the, the, the sticker for the campaign. Yeah. And just Absolutely. checked yourself. Yeah, so I was at home on Gosh. maternity. Um, and watching the show, Changing Check, with mm -hmm. the pink bus, uh, Helen yeah. and Dr Hillary. I know. <laughs> and, yeah, and Dr Hillary was demonstrating how to um, check your boobs properly. Right. So I did, cos I'd never done it before. I was 45 and thought, well, you don't have mammograms till you're 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why... And you just don't think about no, it, don't you? No, know, but it's so don't... important mm. to just check, no sure. matter what age. So, yeah, I checked. I found a lump, mm -hmm. went to the doctor straight away and then... Um, was diagnosed with breast cancer grade three, which right. was aggressive. So, okay. basically, if I hadn't found it when I did, Gosh. my journey and story would be totally different. Because the outlook's really positive, isn't it's it? It's really positive. Is yes, because yes. You are getting married in yes, October. I am. Now, Trevor, is there going to be <laughs> a special hair um, do for going on for this <laughs> wedding? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> this is a synthetic wig, but I'm going to get. Get, get a real hair wig for her right. so it can be styled and that. <gasps> but I won't give anything away. No, 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 no. That's a big wig. You can't wait to see the <laughs> Because, Trevor, I you've gone wait. through your own cancer, yeah. you know, your own cancer diagnosis. And how are you doing? Yeah, seven months ago, um, I was... Uh, felt there was something wrong. I went to hospital. They couldn't find anything. And they sent me to a specialist in London. And he said, Mr. Sorby, you've got bowel cancer. Jeez. And he said, we're going to have to operate. Mm. And maybe uh, chemotherapy afterwards. I said, doctor, there's one thing that's bothering me. If I, if I have uh, chemo, am I going to lose my hair? <laughs> <laughs> he says, You've got to have 
to give her. You don't have to worry about that. That's what I love about you. I really do. I think what you do, isn't it incredible? Uh, it's amazing. It amazing. is life changing, isn't what, it? Yeah, it is life changing. As soon as he put the wig on my head that moment, it was just like, wow. You just feel and, better. Oh, you look very glamorous. <laughs> You're loving it. I know, Does Tom I love like it? it. He, he likes loves it. it. That's it's great. blonde. He's like, happy days. <laughs> I know. But hey, you know what? Tomorrow you can be whatever you want. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. one of the few few things that's yes. positive about what you're going through. But it I know, is. as we said, the outlook's really good. Yes, so you it's have really to keep good. in touch with us. I will do definitely. Yeah. But, you oh, know. do you know what? All your pals are watching today, aren't they? They it's are. Why do nothing? Yep. It's yeah, have a look. Dark. They're all there. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Ray. So oh, having a very oh, special, a big special <laughs> party. <laughs> Just because, you, you, because they're so happy oh. that you're doing so well. Oh, great stuff. So go back and see them, have a cup of tea. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my God. Excellent. I can't believe you it. Can that. <laughs> no, I did. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> great to see you both, Trevor. Oh. Just keep doing what you do. Yeah, it's I'm just brilliant. To. It really is. And for thank more you. details on how to check for signs of breast cancer, of course, you can head to our website. It's all there. Right, still to come between now and 10 o'clock. I thought I'd be a little understated in it, and I've done it just for you, Lorraine. <laughs> Don't you worry. We caught up with John Barrowman at last night's NTAs. Did he give away a big secret to do with the masked singer? We'll find out in 15 minutes. First, though, tomorrow sees the release of Netflix's new thriller, The Stranger, starring Richard Armitage, Devla Kerwin, and Jennifer Saunders. And of course, we know Richard from some of our very favourite shows. Are you satisfied? You kill me for me, so kill me if that's what you want! You're Pete, right? Joel's old man. Uh, yeah. How'd you work that one out? She described you. Oh, really? Where are you? I've just seen the UN special negotiator into his hotel. Yeah. Is he always that arrogant? I need you to pick something up on your way in. Croissant? Not exactly. I'm asking you to marry me, Geraldine Granger. <laughs> My sister. What? <laughs> that was so good. Richard Armitage joins me now. I watched that over Christmas. We did too. Oh, wasn't it just the best, <laughs> the absolute best? But tell me about The Stranger. Yes, it's oh, a, a new series a from one. Netflix written yeah. by Harlan Coben, Danny Brocklehurst. Eight episodes. Um, I play a character called Adam Price, who is a father and a husband in an affluent family. And uh, he takes his kids to the football one day and a stranger comes up to him in a bar and says, your wife faked her own pregnancy and you should look into her computer to find out the truth, which he wow. does, and then really regrets it. Sure. Secret secrets. Let's have a look. He didn't have to stay with her, you know. What? Corinne, you didn't have to stay with her when she told you she was pregnant. I'm sorry, do, do I know you? Two years ago, she told you she was pregnant, right? That's why you stayed. She told you she was pregnant, and then she lost the baby. Who are you? She lied, Adam. She made it up. She was never pregnant. Who are you? Why are you saying this? Does that really matter? Yeah, it does. OK, think of me as a stranger. She is the stranger. It draws you in. It really does, because you really want to know what's... Like him. Yes. You know, he wants to find out what on earth is going on in my life. I thought everything was OK. Yeah. Well, Harlan's book is very much like that. It's yeah. a real page turner. Sure, so. no, absolutely. Is it true that you kind of almost write a biography on your characters, or you kind of work out what where they're from and why they got to where they are? I do. I mean, I love working from books because the writer usually gives you so much psychology and interior. Yeah. But I, I do fill in the gaps, and I mm. uh, I write a, a biography, and I I did the same for this character, and used okay. a bit of my own life, sure. which the writer then took and kind of wove into the script, which, mm. I, which I read and went, oh, this feels familiar. <laughs> it, was, it was a real experience. Because you do immerse yourself right in the character. I mean, famously in Spooks, you got, you got waterboarded even just to f find out what it was really truly like. Yeah. So that you could portray it in a really realistic way. Oh, that goodness. is go That's above and beyond. What was I thinking? Wow, really? But did it make it better? Do you think it actually helped? 
Uh, I think when you're doing something like that, yeah, it, to, to fake it in a way which isn't truthful, I think is more dangerous than, than trying to experience what it's really like. I know you, what you mean. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah. I get that completely. Now, look, as we mentioned, we saw you with Don French, that yeah. unforgettable, that wedding. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it, was, it was just brilliant. Jennifer Saunders is in this. She is. N yes. It's not a comedy. <laughs> no, no. Yes. This is her. I guess this must be her first really pure dramatic role yes it yeah. is and but she still brings a little bit of that uh comedy sparkle to right. the role she's right. brilliant she's absolutely brilliant and it's it's it is a straight role for her yeah that's that's interesting and i i wasn't sure you know when you go to something i, I, I wasn't sure so i thought am i going to be able to take her seriously absolutely you do you do completely well, well also something happens to her that you just don't want to see happen to to mm. this beloved person which exactly, is brilliant casting. exactly right now though you're on stage i am uncle vanya uncle at the Harold that's, that's very grown up <laughs> it is <laughs> very intellectual up. absolutely um, toby jones is playing uncle oh, vanya wow. and uh, yes it's it's we're in our early stages but it's it's lovely it's really nice to be on stage every night do you not think there was something like this because i think a lot of people go oh that's maybe a little bit too heavy for me or that's maybe not relevant in these days could not be more relevant this play yes so many of the so many of the issues that we're all concerned about like the environment and all of these things yes are dealt with in this play well my character is uh, an environmentalist isn't he a warrior right? the, yes he is <laughs> the play was written 120 years ago and some of the words that are being spoken you think this this could have been written yesterday and it's Colin McPherson's adaptation which is very kind of relatable right. so and a very funny actually surprisingly funny well that's good and again you know that's where I think especially with with work like that look at the cast i know incredible look at the cast wonderful that is when if people go along they shouldn't i, I always get a bit worried that people feel intimidated about going to the theater to see things like this or going to see shakespeare or going to the ballet or going to the opera because it's for us yes you know, this, they is, this they is about they now really exactly they yeah. don't make you know we don't make these productions for just a few people to toddle along yes. you want everybody to go and see we want people you? that have never been to the theater before to come in and exactly. just have a really good night with us exactly of course you've done so so many things in your career you know from telly to massive movies i mean you, you were very cute in in the hobbit <laughs> and that was a <laughs> huge <laughs> you were, you were thing. Oh, you what were you you were a wee dwarf was i was it? you were I was four foot two you were four foot two which is a bit of a stretch because you're a tall lad it's true <laughs> it's the first thing people say is you're very tall for Why a dwarf? Did anybody cast you as a wee fella exactly <laughs> <laughs> really tall, and Aidan Turner was was in it as well. He was, he, he was a little. He's similar height to me, but yes, yeah, he was. He but was they a made him a wee tiny. It's yes. amazing what you can do. It it's, it's amazing what you can do. But this, it's one of these things which is great because we can watch this and binge. Yes. On the stream, yes. can't we? You can, and and in a way, it's like staying up all night with the book that you can't put down. You can watch the show yeah. from start to end, all on Friday, uh, on Thursday night, if you want to. Right, so it's coming out tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night. We can yes. watch it tomorrow. I was just very lucky to get a sneaky preview. Oh, good. Which is wonderful. But we can watch it there, and it, it is. It's really. It's like the book. It's a page turner. You Great. just want to see what happens. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Nice to see you Great again. Great to see you. Absolutely. Come back and see us real soon. I will. Right, still to come. She was one of the big winners at last night's National TV Awards. Why did Coronation Street's Katie McGlynn get so? emotional though we'll find out after the break Lorraine sponsored by Nestle shredded wheat show thrush who's boss with Keniston thrush duo take control with a complete treatment a cream to calm the burning itch and an oral capsule to treat the infection get comfortable it's a quadruple rollover. Why would you miss it? Lotto from the National Lottery. Tempting. Even more tempting. The Emirates Sale, now on. Skin feeling wiped out by your cleansing routine? Try Garnier Missler Cleansing Water. It's missiles capture makeup and impurities like a magnet. Without rubbing, remove makeup, cleanse, and soothe. The only Missler recognized by the British Skin Foundation and Allergy UK. From Garnier, the UK's number one Missler brand. Tim and Tom love a late bite before bed, but those late dinners can cause heartburn or reflux. Tim chooses Gaviscon Double Action, which unlike Tom's antacid, neutralizes acid and forms a protective barrier even when lying down. For long-lasting relief, choose Gaviscon Double Action. Now also in new mixed berry flavour. And also from the makers of Gaviscon comes Guardian. One pill for 24 hours of zero heartburn.
Anchor, butter the food, butter the mood. I worry about other people. So when I suffered from a medical mistake, I wondered, could I stop this happening to someone else in the future? Now I know. Patient Claimline are specialist medical negligence lawyers. Call now or visit patientclaimline.com. Know for sure. From the moment you step on board to the first sip of the perfectly presented champagne cocktail or the local knowledge of our expert tour guides and the comfort of your beautifully designed suite to the finest cuisine in a choice of restaurants with 200 euros of onboard credit included on selected cruises, you really can't help but love every moment. Eight-day river cruises start from just 1199. Book today at rivieratravel.co.uk. Abdur and Atoll protected. The Trade Centre UK January sale must end Sunday with up to £2,000 off every single car. Like this 2017 Ford Fiesta was 6999 now 4999 Save £2,000. Or this 2017 Nissan Duke was 9999 now 7999 Save £2,000. With up to £2,000 off every single car, the Trade Centre UK January sale must end 6pm Sunday. Different coughs require different formulas. For targeted relief from dry and tickly or chesty coughs, try Cavonia. The dry and tickly cough formula soothes the upper respiratory tract, while the chesty cough formula helps clear mucus from the lungs. For effective relief from different types of coughs, target symptoms at the source with Cavonia. The Dreams up to 50% off sleep event is now on. Our Maitland double mattress is now just 299. That's 50% off. And this week there's extra offers. Save £150 on our Francis double bed frame. Now 349. Don't miss out. Extra offers end Tuesday at Dreams. Today on Loose Women, we'll be cross examining Britain's bossiest barrister, Rob Rinder. He'll be dishing the dirt on all the guilty parties from last night's NTA Awards, and we'll be getting the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about his latest caseload. All rise for Rob Rinder, today at 12.30. Lorraine, sponsored by Nestle Shredded Wheat. Welcome back, that was Pet Shop Boys performing their new track, Monkey Business, at last night's National TV Awards. We've got loads more from the NTAs in just a couple of minutes. First, though, Andy is back with the competition. Oh, yeah, I'm in the kitchen again, Lorraine, and I've been doing a little bit of baking in our fake oven. It's an amazing oven, I've got to say. Look at these croissants I've made. Wow. Didn't even switch it on. That's an amazing oven. If you want an amazing oven, you need money to buy one. I've got £80,000 to give away. It's a huge amount of money, uh, and you could win that. Totally tax-free cash could be yours, as well as the £80,000. We're also going to pay your mortgage for two years. I mean, can you actually believe that? You could win your mortgage paid for for two years. And as well as that, we'll also pay your bills for two years as well. So your council tax bill, your water and gas bill, your electricity bill, we will pay those bills for you. I mean, how generous am I? Let's be honest. Lorraine, how generous am I in a word? Fabulous. Fabulously generous, <laughs> and Lorraine knows, you know. Uh, if you'd like to be our next big winner, you've got to enter. Remember, the lines will close on Friday, so I don't want you to miss out. Here's your chance to be our next big winner. Oh, stale, stupid oven. <laughs> For another chance to win, text WIN to 65557. Text costs £2, plus one standard network rate message. Go to the website. Entries cost £2. You can call 09068 78557. Calls cost £2, plus your network access charge or post your name and phone number to BK52, PO Box 7558, Derby, DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 2 p.m. on Friday, the 31st of January. Good luck. Good luck to you now. Anton Deck, Gavin and Stacey and Emma Dale were some of the big winners at last night's National TV Awards. And of course, Aria Hebden was there. <laughs> National Television Awards here in London and it's already a bit of a party here on the red carpet so I'm here to get all the goss from the stars. Surely you get bored of winning. I mean, oh, never. never. It's the NTA. Yeah. I thought I'd be a little understated tonight and I've done it just for you, Lorraine. Guys, the end of the last series was absolutely brilliant. What a cliffhanger. Are you going to be coming back again? Who knows? Oh, Do you know? know? 
I don't know. Well, you never know, you never know. Maybe it's good to stay on a cliffhanger. I haven't watched The Masked Singer, so I, at one point I did decide no. like there was a porcupine on the... <laughs> That is People grabbing you in the street trying to guess yeah. clues and stuff. My lips are sealed. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you pass me a little tenner, maybe I'll give you a few. <laughs> Who gets to keep the trophy? Do you take it in turn? Well, we, uh, well, when we've won in the past, they give us one each. Are you going to party hard? Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird being here, like, without the girls as well. It's, like, quite a surreal experience. You're doing fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Come on. Yes, super star. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, I love to it. Who? Uh, <laughs> this is my first time here. Is it? So I'm like starstruck. I'm buzzing. I'm cold, but I'm oh. excited to be here. I do feel like I've already won. It's just so nice to be nominated. To be recognised. Yeah, and to be the only girl. Gives you a chance to reflect back on what you've done and think, well, perhaps I didn't make so many mistakes after all. The end today's are a great party. Right, they're all going to get their seats. I'm going to go grab mine. Welcome to the 25th National Television Awards. And the National Television Award goes to... Jesse Nelson. Nelson. Oh, everyone out. Ladies and gentlemen, Gavin and Stacey! Please welcome Sir Michael Palin! Anton Deck! We really do thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Fantastic. Rhea's here now. It looked like a great night. Congratulations, of course, to Ant and Dick. But you know what? They should just really give it to them before the football I mean, did. honestly. <laughs> Guys, here you are. Yes, <laughs> best presenter 19 years Incredible. in a row. It's ridiculous. I, I don't think there was them. anyone in the audience that wasn't surprised, to no, be honest with they you. Did. Of course. But and you know what was lovely, Lorraine? When I chatted to them on the red carpet, they did actually say how much it really does mean to yeah, them to win. Okay. So they don't take it for granted. Because it's the viewers. It's about yeah. the viewers voting. That's the thing. Now, David Williams, of course, took over hosting duty. How he did. He did. He did a fantastic job. Obviously, he took over from um, Dermot O'Leary this year for the 25th anniversary. Came in literally Dangling. flying yes. in. <laughs> uh, very epic entrance there. Will not be forgotten for a long while, I'm sure. And um, what was nice as well was to see the bromance between Dermot and uh, yes. David because Dermot sent him some flowers and a lovely note wishing oh, him well. Well, that's good. Well, that's what you know. It's what it's yeah. about, isn't it? And uh, he also tweeted, "Look, a little." Good yeah, luck yeah. message, which, you know, is nice. That's what it's about, isn't it? Indeed. And David yes. Williams won an award too, so congratulations Oh, to he him. did Best TV Judge for Britain's Got Talent, so he well did. done to him. Now, lots of emotion, as you would expect. Ooh. And we had Katie McGlynn on the show yeah. uh, not that long ago, and we were talking about the NTAs, and she was, like, so excited to even be nominated, and she won. Good for her. Yeah. She's such a lovely girl, and it was yeah. a really important storyline in Corrie. Sure. Obviously, she played the role of Sinead Osborne when she was battling with cervical cancer. Yeah. Look at her there, she looks oh. amazing. Oh, what really touched me was she dedicated the award to her granddad, right. who used to take her to auditions and acting classes when she was younger, uh -huh. uh, but sadly never got to see her in Corrie because he passed away. Ah, that's so really shame. sad, yeah, yeah, but she dedicated it to him and also another special group of people. In all seriousness, I want to dedicate this award to any woman who's going through cervical cancer right now, who has gone through cervical cancer, all the families that are going through it, um, stay strong and thank you very much. A lovely girl, very, very well deserved, as was the award to Jessie, to Jessie Nelson from Little Mix. Yeah, she did fantastically mm. well. So she won the award for Best Factual Good for, her. Uh, for her documentary Odd One Out, which was all about the online bullying that she experienced in the early days of Little Mix, yeah. which was really sad but really important documentary. And lovely to see her boyfriend Chris Hughes show some support there when she was getting her award. There's also a little bit of gossip in the press room because she had uh, some rings on her engagement finger. Okay. Um, she puts it down to fashion accessories. <laughs> you know what the press are like, they get very excited, don't sure. they? And the night wasn't without its dramas, sadly. Her boyfriend Chris got into a little bit of a scuffle with a photographer. Oh, I dear. put it down to him being very protective of her. I think he probably is, and I can't yeah. blame him, actually. Yeah, She's rightly been through, so. been through such 
such a lot, mm. such a lot. She yeah. really has. Now, you spoke to somebody who is fabulous. I did, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> I did, John Barryman. I tell you, he deserves an award for his suit. He looks oh, wow. so fantastic. Look, there he is. Gorgeous. <laughs> but there was one question I had to ask him, Lorraine, not about Dancing on Ice, right. but another huge ITV show that we loved. Indeed. Another reality TV show that we are speculating could you could have something to do with that? Maybe a little unicorn, perhaps? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. I've got a feeling it could be you. I have no idea. If I was, I wouldn't tell you, and if I wasn't, I wouldn't tell you yeah. either. So there, we'll have to. I think though, you know, I think most of his kind of think that it's probably him. He wasn't giving much away, but when he did that little unicorn move, yes, I thought, mm, yes. I've seen that before. He, he probably has done that before. <laughs> I would imagine that, or that might just be his idea of, of a good time. He's a great guy though, and um, big special night for somebody who I absolutely adore, um, oh. Michael Palin. So Michael Palin, yeah. one of the nicest guys that I spoke oh, to last amazing. night. So he was awarded the Special Recognition Award for his life. Life's work. Um, he got a standing ovation, rightly so. An amazingly talented guy. Joanna Lumley presented the ah, award there. She is looking gorgeous. Beautiful. And it was just wonderful. He um, he dedicated the award to obviously his 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 uh, good friend uh, Terry Jones, who sadly passed of away course. just last week. Yep. Um, and j just you know when you meet someone and they're just so genuinely lovely. A really special guy. Yeah. Let's Here's what you had to yeah. say. I want to dedicate this award tonight to someone who taught me more about television than anyone else, uh, my dear friend and erstwhile python, Terry Jones. That is the measure of the man, that well, this is all about him, he do, he's so modest and he makes it all about somebody who was so, so important to him. Just such a lovely guy. And I also asked him, what would your word of advice be to the next generation of actors? Right. And he said, embrace who you are. When you're young, you're always trying to be somebody else. Actually, embrace you, because that's what makes you unique. Absolutely. Which I thought was just such it's lovely great. advice. And he said we should always be curious. Curiosity. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank, Thank you. It's so, a pleasure. So now, of course, congratulations to This Morning who won an NTA, didn't they? And Phil and Holly aren't quite there yet. Um, maybe we should... Shh, we should be quiet. I'm going to send them over some iron brew and square sausage for their hangovers. And if they don't make it, I can always get next door. Bye. Fingers crossed. Right, that's all for today. Joe Joyner and Mark Benton are here tomorrow. They've got a brand new show out together. You have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. And Phil and Holly will be there, honest. I hope. <laughs> <laughs>
Harris Fowler, the personal injury solicitor. Different coughs require different formulas. For targeted relief from dry and tickly or chesty coughs, try Cavonia. The dry and tickly cough formula soothes the upper respiratory tract, while the chesty cough formula helps clear mucus from the lungs. For effective relief from different types of coughs, target symptoms at the source with Cavonia. The King and Queen are coming. You're invited to this year's grandest night in. Welcome to Downton Abbey. Downton Abbey the movie. Yours to treasure on DVD and Blu-ray now. It was Dad said he wanted to talk about a pure cremation. I said, Dad, we're nowhere near that yet. And he said, I'll tell you one thing, love, no one lives forever. But I don't want a funeral, just a simple send-off. He'd done a bit of research and chose pure cremation because they're specialists with great reviews. No funeral director, no big expense, and best of all, no fuss. We got it sorted with a phone call. More time to enjoy the good things, he said. Say goodbye your way. Find out more at purecremation.tv. Captain Birdseye loves the simple things. Like swimming with his grandson and his crunchy fish fingers made with wild cork cod and golden breadcrumbs. <laughs> Crispier than ever, Birdseye. Real food, simply made. Sunny out, isn't it? Yeah. Good to see after all that rain. Yeah. That rain was really bad. Yeah. Very wet rain. Yeah. Ooh. Dunelm, proud sponsors of this morning. to be a little bit more quiet. Could be a little quiet. I'm sorry. Do you know sorry. what the problem is? It's mixing. <sighs> I'm mixing. We were rookie error schoolboy. Don't know what. We're better than that, Phil. Gin tonic, then Alice Beer's tequila, which she had in her bag. Alice Beer, guys. Like this is a top tip. Had a bag in her bag with pre-salted shot glasses for the tequila that she'd made. I mean, it was. You are my new hero, Alice Beer. <laughs> what was what was in the bottle that John Barrowman was walking around John with? John Barrowman had what looked like a water bottle, but that was not water. Well, it was like being at a festival. I know, I know, I know. And at what I I don't know. I don't know what I don't I don't know why we did it. I don't mean why we did it, but I do know why we did it, because we were celebrating this. Uh... And thank you.